Happy yeah. about the uh, three-point shooting or more annoyed about the turnovers now? Well, <laughs> we hit some shots. Uh, first of all, I thought we took, for the most part, pretty good shots. I think out of the 22 that we took, I think, if I remember right, three of them I didn't like. But, uh, you know, the other 19, I thought we were catch and shoot in pretty good position. So really thought that was good. Obviously, the turnovers, you know, we can't, can't do that. You know, we just, and that's uh, 16 the other night and 18 tonight. Uh, you're not going to be successful uh, with that many turnovers. So uh, we're going to have to do a much better job handling the ball. Our guys are going to have to be strong with it. And, um, you know, that, that was the major concern. Should have hit more free throws. Those are two things that we can control, you know, handling the ball, making better decisions, and uh, hitting a few more free throws. When you get some guards back, do you feel like that, that'll help address Oh, that? absolutely. No, we, we got guys that are handling it too much. Uh, you know, we want guys to feel confident uh, with what they're doing, and, and we got some guys handling the ball, you know, more than they should. And uh, so they're going to just, gonna, you know, we had a couple full court situations there where I have no idea what we were trying to accomplish. So uh, we're going to have to get a lot, lot better, a lot more solid. Uh, the t-shirts or the shirts they're wearing didn't didn't mean much. They had simple plays all over them, and and it sure didn't mean much to them. Stylistically, offensively, is this kind of what you envisioned the team would be playing inside out and get some kickouts for open looks? Yeah, you know, uh, Dante didn't do as good handling the uh, double teams as he did the other night. He uh, started off with the very first one, just stood straight up and dribbled out. I, so I was a little disappointed in that because he, he tore him up the other night. So I'm um, going to have to get back to that and, and uh, make some better plays there. But uh, no, we, um, we've, we've got to continue to move. We've got to continue. If they're going to double Dante, which a lot of teams are going to do, uh, we've got to move for him, and, and then he's got to make good plays. Danny won five and six. You know, what's been working during that stretch? What do you like about how you've been playing during that stretch? Well, I, I think we've got some chemistry going, as I've mentioned before. Uh, Will's done a tremendous job. I, and I, I know I've said that a number of times, but, man, he, you know, he's focusing guys, getting them to focus. It, it's a lot different when a teammate and a teammate who's been here for four years – you know, tell somebody, hey, we, we can't make that mistake. You know, they expect me to yell at them, you know, and talk about mistakes. But, you know, when – and then he takes ownerships when he makes a mistake. You know, he lets them know right away. He's secure enough with himself. He missed a couple switches and, you know, he's telling them, that's, that's my fault. That's not yours. That's mine. You know, so when you have someone that's leading and that's secure with what they're doing, uh, it gives everybody a little bit – you know, more focus, and I, I think our chemistry's been better. Our focus has been better. We've been at home in a few games. That helps. Uh, but uh, I, I just I think we're moving in the right direction. Uh, a couple more ball handlers definitely would help. Tyrone gave us a big lift today. Um, Luke gave us a big lift. I want to get Dante and Khalil on the floor more together, but this wasn't the right matchup to do it. With, with all the three-point shots they were going to take. But we do have to get back to that and get Khalil on the floor a little bit more uh, as long as his energy is, is good and practices hard. Uh, so, but I thought, you know, uh, Tyrone did a great job. Uh, just one turnover, a little sloppy with the handoff, but uh, six rebounds, did a, did a great job. I was going to say, what do you think of his and – Luke's development and play, you know, when Quincy and Rivaldo both got into foul trouble. Thought they did a good job. Thought they did a good job. Uh, not many mistakes. Uh, like I said, Tyrone had the one turnover, and Luke didn't have any. And he's a turnover machine. So uh, we uh, really happy with that, you know. And they both went to the boards, both, you know, five. And I thought that was a big key. We, we couldn't give them second shots. And um, – we beat them by 10 on the boards, 38 to 28. And uh, so that, uh, that was a good stat for us. By far, Waldo's best three-point night. 
when it's been a bit inconsistent at times, not just this season, at, even at times last season. How do you try to get that to be a little bit more consistent where, you know, it's, it's not uh, it's not 0 for 5 and then 4 for 6 and be able to flow that? You know, it's, it's a lot of work, you know, and, and taking good ones. Um, you know, he, I think he, you know, misses a couple, then he starts pressuring himself. You know, he's, he's just, uh, he's got to take his time. If he's got a good one, take it. You know, he's really shooting free throws well. He's got to take it at the basket and get to the free throw line more. You know, last year he shot threes 26% and two 60%. You know, going into this game, he was shooting 21% and 50% from two. You know, and, and he was 13 or 14 from the line. You got, you got to take the ball at the basket. And uh, like I said, there's a fine line there. I didn't tell him he couldn't shoot it. I just said, make sure he had good ones. He took that little sidestep one, and he knew, you know, I didn't like that shot. You know, it's just not a high percentage shot. And uh, the four good ones he took, you know, I told him he could have got himself in good shape if he went took taking that bad one. So, uh, no, it's it's just a lot of hard work, James. You got to get in the gym, you know, just keep grinding and uh, he, he did spend a lot of time last couple of days shooting the ball and uh, it paid off. But again, just two days isn't going to make it. You got you to do that every day. The position that your team is in right now is still suffering from some, in, uh, some injuries. How realistic is it, you know, like the goal being consistency right now, or is it more so for you as a coach, I don't care who gets it done. But it needs to be someone that gets it done, you know, every game in order for us to come out on top. No, absolutely. We, as long as, you know, the, the three experienced guys, you know, we've got to depend on Will, Dante, and Quincy because they've got the most experience. Uh, we had a little foul trouble there and, uh, with, with Waldo and, and Quincy and Brennan. Uh, but those, those three, you know, and then Brennan's got to continue to come along. Luke's got to continue to come along. Uh, Tyrone got to continue to come along. So as long as the experienced guys, you know, kind of give us a base, you know, the other guys can can come along and, you know, hopefully we'll get some guys healthy after Christmas and, and add some things. But again, that's that's going to be a process, especially with the start of our conference. You know, we, we go to Colorado, we go to Utah. We got the Arizona schools coming in right after Oregon State and Oregon State played well. So you know, we we are going to have to really tighten things up during the Christmas break. Guys are going to take a few days off, but we're going to have to get back and uh, spend a lot of time on the practice floor and tighten a lot of things up. And as we add some guys back, hopefully here in the near future, uh, we can we can make some progress and slowly move forward. You know about Utah Valley and just the importance of playing well in that game before the break for Christmas. I don't know much, but I do know that they beat BYU at BYU 75-60. I was shocked at that sto score. So, you know, they have the potential to have big three-point shooting night. I think they did at uh, BYU. I think they were 11 for 23 or something. So we are going to have to to get ready like we did for this game. You know, uh, I thought the guys did a good job on scouting report, personnel, and, uh, you know, we're able to guard them. So... You know, we're going to have to do the same thing, kind of t two days here, light day tomorrow, hard day on Monday, be ready, you know, Tuesday night at 7.30. So, uh, again, they've, they've got a good power ranking, good net. You know, that I think we've only had one quad four game, you know. So, uh, we got to keep getting ready. And I, I think, you know, playing teams like this will help us get ready for, for the conference. What can you say about what Will's been able to do as a facilitator? He's got the triple double last weekend. Twelve is his uh, new career high tonight. Um, how's he been able to find his guys? Thought he's done a great job of, you know, controlling the, the tempo of the game. You know, pushing it when we need it pushed, pulling it back when we need it pulled back. Uh, he's he's done a great job keeping his composure. You know, when things didn't go right for me, you know, I think he was zero for four at half. You know. And, uh, so it, he just didn't panic. You know, he continued to do a great job. So 12 assists, I don't care who you're playing, it's really good. We'll, we'll take that. Had three steals, uh, four turnovers, you know. But three to one, uh, we will take that any night. Uh, three to one assist to turnover. And uh, in the second half, then he got a few shots to fall and, 
and did a pretty good job.